Welcome to Trek Gaz Beach Retreats, where we play Sounds of the Ocean for 30 minutes. Relax. What are you doing? Think about your grass. So this is our first beach trek in. We're going to be doing this um, semi-annually. Semi-annually. You can sign up. There's limited spots. Just four. <laughs> <laughs> There's two left if you happen to be a girlfriend. Uh, True, yeah, yeah. This this is our second AM trek in in a row. It really show it really comes through yeah. in the late camps. Who's the last? By the way, by the way, Derry is the student who says it's possible. He also listens to Russ, <laughs> which is <laughs> wild. This dude's little little seven year old Chinese kid. He's telling me about Russ. Damn, it's wild. Anyway. What's his favorite track? Uh, what do you call that? Psycho Part 2? Damn, dude. I don't he know. said it. He wrote that on a piece of paper for me. He wrote <laughs> Psycho Part 2. I was like, what? Damn, Darius fucking got some love issues, bro. <laughs> so anyways, we, if, you, if you've checked our Instagram lately, you, you will see that uh, we live in Da Nang and we love living here. I Link. think uh, whoever, whoever's been doing the Instagram <laughs> copy... Has, uh, has used, we love living here in every post lately. Yeah, dude, but we have this intern, and he's just really good at coming up, coming up with that line, so. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's really, really good at that coming line. up with that Also, line. if you've been watching our Instagram, you've seen that we've had somewhat of warfare going on with our... Compatriots. With, with our, with ISIS, Smirnoff cruises, if you will. Yeah. You basically hide them somewhere, and if somebody sees it, they have to, they have to chug chug it. Having it, Jason got one today in the morning. Kind of sucks. Yeah. To be honest. Leave all stones unturned. Yeah, leave all stones unturned. We're in an area that's very touristy, and there's a lot of uh, Koreans here. Korean tourism to Da Nang is very popular. Um, we're also just in an area city. Like, I mean, when you live five minutes from the beach, I guess maybe it's natural to be around tourists. Or you know, I don't. Right. Know, I never lived on a beach before. Or like in a beach city. I don't know if you guys can corroborate that. It's rad because we live like a couple minute walk to the beach. A couple minutes from the beach. Right. And the weather is incredible. And like 50% of the people here are tourists. So like everyone's like in a real good mood. It's the perfect storm to have a good ass time. I love Da Nang. I'm sad I'm leaving in the four days. 50% of the people in our neighborhood. To, to, it's not quite that proportion of yeah, not citywide. City. But but in our area, for sure. We might come back, maybe. I think. Yeah, we might. I think we should. We it's like it's the first time we've come to a city and been like, we're coming back here. I'm voting for this one. Yeah. We're about to split up because Andy and Jason and Walker are going to go to the States here pretty soon. True. Yeah, catch us at Jonesy's. Yeah, we we'll <laughs> Jonesy's every day, hosting live webinars. <laughs> <laughs> we'll teach you how to go digital nomad. <laughs> In this episode the of Make, no make Income Jonesy's from Your Jonesy's Desk on the step, Beach. Step one, can I have a water? Step two, oh, and what's your Wi-Fi? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's chill. You guys have food here, too? Oh, you guys have food? And where are you going to be? I'm going to, uh, so next time we do a trek in, I mean, it'll be some sort of split business. I don't know. Um, but I'll be in, uh, Phuket, Thailand by myself. So if you get up like, uh, about an hour before we did, uh, you can come out here before the sun is up. This beach is packed with people and there, it's a bunch of like old people, really? you know, doing the exercises, swimming. Ew. Yeah, it's fantastic. Playing volleyball and other shit. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a bunch of people being active when they're old. Yeah, so actually, like, as soon as... I'm surprised there's this many people here now because usually, like, as soon as the sun comes up, people just whoosh, scatter because they say Vietnamese people are afraid of the sun. They, it, uh, they, they seem to care about their skin as well. Yeah, they do. It's, there's a, a cultural thing where, like, in Asia, they view white as beautiful and... and they don't want to tan like if they tan it's it's ugly so um it's that's just a, a an easy 
way to see that culture is bullshit. Uh, since like our culture is the opposite way, their culture it's wild. is wild. The opposite. The opposite. <laughs> so like, uh, we have so me what, here so uh, with true. my fluorescent skin, I'm pretty much Super a hot commodity. Demigod. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, so it's it's a pretty cool place. Like at noon, you come here and it's empty. It's honestly like it's one of the best beaches in the world. I've I've been to a few beaches, not many, in the world. but this is the sickest one. It's, it goes on for forever. It's endless. There's endless real estate here. It's super shallow out into the water. The water is clean as, clean as, come on. It's clean as heck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very nice. And, very uh, nice. It's warm. <laughs> the sand's nice. Damn, it's soft. It's only like, honestly, no, in other places, in Asia, the sand on beaches, like specifically China, sticks and seeds. And I think, like, uh, for maybe side down. Really How many like, beaches you been to, boy? Just a seeds couple. All just over a couple. It. But there's fucking garbage in the sand, like crazy. There's here, garbage in the sand there's, too. But here, there's very little garbage. Like comparatively, it's a very, very clean. I don't know if you noticed me, like in my excavation project over here, but yeah. I've already grabbed like four or five pieces of plastic in this trek in. Yeah. Just saying. It's, it's still relatively it's small. Relative. Like, it is. It you, is. Like, You're right. You're right. The it's you guys went to Hong flights. Kong over this past month. Yeah. Yeah, we went to Hong Kong for a client, and we did some stuff there. We mostly went to McDonald's. We mostly went to McDonald's. We lived right next to one. Yeah. Damn. This McDonald's had this weird thing going on where you could go and order it all on a screen and go walk up to the show, and they would give you your food. Yeah, yeah like the, the, the... We had to try it a couple times. We had times. to try it. Test it, it, it didn't out. know if it would work every time. It did I, for one, welcome our Android overlords. So, I met up with an old neighbor there. That was sick. Like, two people from the same neighborhood in Iowa, just chilling in Hong Kong. Yeah, so then we spent, like, two weeks there, and then Andy went home, and then home, meaning me, yeah, which is sick. Yeah. Uh, and then I went into, into mainland China and went to, like, South China to see the... Uh, Manufacture of our first product, so went in and looked at some factories, did some stuff. Did you have a good time in the mainland? I didn't even really ask you. Uh, yeah, I did. I got okay, cool. It was I was <laughs> I was like stressed because there's so much. Like, I used to work there, and I have a lot of friends there because like I'm sick and people love me. Nice. And so like, yeah. like last time I was there, all I did was drink every night and like party. A, a changed man, you know, like I'm born again. I'm a born again guy, and uh, so I had all these friends that like I made, and I I couldn't see all of them. Like I didn't have enough time between trying to see some of them and getting work done. So yeah, it was kind of tough, but uh, I definitely wish that all of those people lived in Da Nang and not in. Because Da Nang is sicker. Right. So, uh, so you had a sick time? I had a good time, yeah. It was fun. <laughs> but not as good as last time. We had to drink all the time. Damn, last time it sounded so much Dude, more last fun. Last time was sick. I'm talking in clubs. I'm talking The other bottles. day I was walking on this beach here, <laughs> and Rachel and I were walking on this last night, and we saw a jellyfish that had brushed up to the shore, mm. and it was like yay big, a thing. Thick one, like a thick, like this big and a thick, meaty one. Like, like a jam fish? No, it was the jellyfish. It was one of those jellyfish like that. A, was a, a the other day I was, I was going for a run on the beach. Same story. This big fat jellyfish on the beach, and there's a couple of Vietnamese ladies poking it with a stick or something. I was poking this one too. Yeah, so I'm, I'm running, I'm going for a beach run by it, and it, as, right as I pass them, I just fart a little bit. <laughs> just a cute little, just a cute little. And all the Vietnamese ladies, oh! <laughs> heard you in their yeah. laughing. Yeah, they pointed and laughed at me. It was great. Damn, dude. <laughs> um, I've never even seen a jellyfish. One thing that's so that's wild with Da Nang um, was Walker and Jason have been here before. I have never been here before, and uh, they talked about all the development, and they're so right. I mean, here in Da Nang, you're looking at in, in certain areas, especially in our neighborhood. I mean this wild proportion of where sometimes in, in certain blocks it feels like there's more buildings under construction than there are built yeah. and that's pretty wild and then 
Also, like, when you go to Hoi An, which is another, like, touristy town, um, little village down the road on the way, it's like a 30-minute drive from Da Nang, you drive there, and on the way, the beach is just lined with massive resorts, and it just yeah. feels so weird, and it's, like, empty, but, but here's these, like, you know, there's a, there's a Sheraton, uh, freaking on a raw, <laughs> I don't know, like, one of the top, like, because Sheraton's, like, uh, separated in, in groups of, like, class, and it's like the, the highest class Sheraton and and a bunch of other ones and, and it's just it's just this bizarre looking. I don't know. Pretty wild. There's a lot of development. And I think like unless something weird happens, I think it's a safe bet to develop here. Like I think yeah. these people are putting many, many millions of dollars in I bet those people are pretty sure that they're gonna yeah. have some money. Yeah. Something we don't know is going on here. Like the world pop. But what's what's really sick about us living here now is like you know we can live four minutes from the beach and and all the coffee on our block and like like we can we we're we're living in a touristy area and and we're surviving man <laughs> like affordable yeah, yeah. it's affordable yeah. like we yeah. went to this uh, uh, sick like, amusement park the other day and crazy roller coasters Ferris wheels carousels you name it. Bumper cars, yeah. damn! Some sick bumper cars too. Thirteen bucks. Thirteen bucks for the whole day, and beer there was a dollar. And you get on your favorite ride, and when it's over, you run out and you go around and you get back on it again. Because there's no, no line. one there. We we're in these bumper cars, and like also like rules are kind of a joke. Right. And you, what you do is like you'd be going and you throw your body into it, <laughs> so the like, people get an extra like. Oh, we, yeah, we had an some, extra neck breaker. We had some yeah, massive yeah. clashes, but this old lady Dude, absolutely so smashed into me. I was like, okay. And so I went around and I surrounded her again and just absolutely mashed her. And we had a good laugh about it. She was ruthless, dude. Yeah, they, the better story I knocked a guy's glasses off his face, <laughs> <laughs> whip him. We were absolutely smashed. <laughs> glasses went onto the floor. Luckily, uh, the bumper cars in the area had all seen the, the level at which I wrecked him. <laughs> yeah. So no one smashed his glasses. They he heard his scream. <laughs> they heard his spine break. Yeah, yeah. It was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was like watching Walker eat a Custos, dude. It's just, just, there's no chance. But what's sick here is a chiropractic adjustment costs five bucks. So <laughs> True. Yeah, we're talking about this place is affordable, and we mean affordable by our standards, which have adjusted to Vietnam cost of living. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, so it's hard for us. This. It's hard for us to spend a thousand dollars a month. Like that's if hard. You, that's you, hard. If you came have time here to watch YouTube, then you can live here. <laughs> if you came here, you would every restaurant you walked into, you would laugh. So and hard. get and order some stuff and like to us it's like oh that's 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 a decent price but to you you'd be like oh damn this bowl of food is two bucks three they're, bucks whoa they're paying me to eat this essentially essentially right? opportunity cost so it's cool that i mean we're in this like beautiful place with a lot of development and the prices are still cheap i would imagine they're they will only go up it's oh what parasailing oh yeah it was fun it was I short video, but it was <laughs> Didn't really work out. Uh, Jason didn't quite get the takeoff right, and so he and Avery were strapped in, and he smashed it in the first wave. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't me who didn't get the takeoff right, it was the float driver. Jason got smashed. He I smashed it in the first wave. Smashed! No, 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 it I didn't life. even see it. But uh, thanks for checking in. See ya. Damn. What? We tried a new thing with work, that's kind of new. This past week we did a thing where it was like, okay, be super focused and get in nine or well the goal was nine hours before 8 p.m and that was like nine hours of pure work right and not counting like a lunch break and a couple other breaks <laughs> but um <laughs> that's actually been really dope like being able to like hang out as friends because that's something we just haven't really been doing we just yeah, it's been work great. at all different times and are always someone's always working it was cool having a dedicated time to kick back and have a good run. Jump into some waves, even. Yeah, true. Yeah. I love waves. Head to a anymore. couple minutes away to the beach, even. Urbexing late at night, climbing in new towers. Thanks for trekking in. Thanks for trekking in. Yeah, I guess next time we see you, I'm not sure what you guys can expect. So get excited, get pumped up, 
because in about three weeks from now, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a wild <laughs> trek in. Yeah. Maybe four. Oh, can we do it from Jonesy's? Yeah, do it from Jonesy's. We should actually do it at Jonesy's. Yeah. I'm do you think those people have even seen cameras before? <laughs> <laughs>